Well, it's a little short in the sleeves, but all in you all, look like it's... a dumb jock. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about Casey, and he's no jock. How can you even stand living with him? He sleeps a lot. Thank you so much for all this food. Sure. Yeah, you're um, you're not going to get in trouble, are you? You know, for raiding Mrs. Hughes's fridge. Mm, no, she'll probably think it's Casey. He eats like a pig. I can I can see that. He's kind of a pig in other ways. What was that? I told you somebody followed me. It's okay. You guys can come out. The noise. Why it just fall by itself? Well, as you know, we have had company. Mm. Dude, mice. Rats. Mice. I don't care if it was squirrels. It's terrible. Hey, it's freezing outside. If you were a mouse, wouldn't you want to be in here? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially if you were a rat. Oh, you ever notice how he thinks he's always right? Because <laughs> huh? I am always right. Just you wait, Munson. First stop we make is a barber shop. Whatever. What do you think, Maddie? Oh, yeah, mohawk. We could, you know, we could start a mullet. You could just get WM on I the back. I think my hair is fine, thank you very much. <laughs> whatever you say, William, whatever you say. Well, as long as I got you in my corner, I'm as cool as they come. Oh. <laughs> you guys are just so... <sighs> are, are you crying? No, I'm not crying. It's, uh, it's, just, it's just so unfair. I mean, you... You should be in school and working and, and applying for college, not living in this rat-infested nightclub. Well, we've got each other, and that's all that really matters. You're gonna make her cry again. No, I, no, I'm fine. It's, I'm gonna miss you, both of you. I'm just, you know, you've been such a good friend. I don't even know what to say. I just, I worry about you being out there on the highway and in the dark. Hey, don't worry about me. No one's going to mess with me. I'm with him. I know I didn't trust you at first, but yeah, you really um, came through. Thank you. OK, OK, I, have to, I, whew, I really have to go now. Um, but please be careful and stay together. And you have my email, right? Yeah, email me it. if you need to. And. Look, I know it's it's freezing out, and it's there's cops probably two steps away, and you have no idea where you're going to sleep tonight, but you're very lucky. She's right, you know. Yeah, we're going to be fine. You going to eat all that? What can I say? I eat like a pig when I'm not sleeping. Hey, you want to give me that salami out of the fridge? Salami? Yeah, the salami my mom brought home from the store this morning. Looks like you have enough there to give you a solid case of heartburn as it is. Hey, have you seen my UW sweatshirt? What? You know, my sweatshirt from the University of Wisconsin. I thought maybe you got mixed up with your pile of laundry. Oh, sorry. You sure? Because I, I can't find it anywhere. I don't have it. Who does? How am I supposed to know? Guess it doesn't matter since I blew my chances of going there anyway. Yeah, you did. Looks good on Will. A little short in the sleeves, but you can roll them up. Hey, look what she brought me. <laughs> it's you. Yeah, she's really great. She's funny. Maps? Compass, and, and I think she got this off the web. It's a list of every youth hostel in the States. Hey, don't forget the salami. Yeah. So I think we're good to go. Now, if I could only, you know, have a shower. You look great. I think stuff is going to start growing out of my hair. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to freshen up, you know, before we were on the road for two weeks. But I'm sure I'm much more appealing to you this way, you know. Okay. Wait here. Where are you going? You'll see. Right, big guy dates Gwen? Yeah, I remember Will. I just, I don't know why you're bringing him up. So you're saying you haven't been helping him hide from the cops? I mean, sorry, my mother? I don't know what you're talking about. I saw you, Maddie. You and Will and Gwen at Metro. <clears throat> I saw you give them the clothes, the food, everything. And all those times you said you were meeting Nate for coffee or Valentine's Day, you were helping them. Fine. 
caught me, I'll buy you another sweatshirt. It's not about the sweatshirt. Then what's it about, Casey? Revenge? Because you can't go away to school? No. Then what is it? You. It's about you. Look, I took a risk because it was the right thing to do. The right thing to do? Will's mom got knocked out and they stole $1,000. It was an accident. And Will's mother is using it to break them up. She's a nightmare and you know it as much as I do. She, she's lying to the cops and you know it. Maybe. Definitely. You are just feeling too sorry for yourself to admit it. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. Please. Ever since your parents sat you down, it's been one big pity party. I'm sorry, but it's true. Look, can we just stop fighting and talk about this? Fine. Fine. Will is supposed to be your friend. And I know that Gwen is not your favorite person. Okay, but he's in love with her and she's in love with him, only you're too clueless. You know, I've always had it with you insulting me, all right? I don't insult you. And as far as me being clueless, I tracked you right back to Will and Gwen. Oh, good, you're a genius. Now what are you gonna do, call the cops? Maybe I already have. How can you be so cruel? Will is your friend, and Gwen, I don't care if you don't like her. She's the mother of your baby. And just imagine if that baby would have lived. Oh, but no, Casey's upset because he didn't get to go to University of Wisconsin. So let's ruin it for everybody. I'm not trying to ruin anything. They were happy. Okay, they loved each other, but you couldn't see that because you're only into yourself. Where are you going? I'm going to warn Will Maddie, and Maddie, just wait. You want to call the cops, that's fine. That's all on you. But I'm not letting them get caught because you want to get even. Just get Maddie, just wait. Get 